Greetings, I'm Demonac. Now let's slay the spire. Alright, so now, where are the shops? There are... Okay, there can be two shops if I go in this direction. So that's what we're going to focus on, because that's the only really good way to, like, improve our decks. We don't need to fight the elites, so we can go up this branch, two question marks, campsite, question mark, then come across here. All right, so, yeah, we're still avoiding elites, because unless I missed something, there's no advantage to them, when, because normal fights give you a relic instead of a card, and it doesn't say that elites give you a card, so... Yeah, okay. Um... Reduce the cost of cards in your hand to one this turn. That doesn't make much difference for me, but whatever. Woohoo, cheaper bash. Um, oh, I should have offering first. Most of my stuff costs one anyway. Yeah, all my stuff costs one. That is the only card in my deck that costs more than one, so whatever. Um, I guess we're going to offering because it gives the energy, like we might as well. Immolate, okay, so I can get rid of one of these. Um, let's do that after, um, oh wait, no. I can't, I don't have any way to do more attacks to, like, knock them out of fly without that, so. Kind of stuck there. Alright, so we're going to make this, uh, open one with more hit points. I'd probably, you know, let's see. We make him vulnerable. Then we're going to, yeah. Oh no, I can't, I can do multiple strikes. Okay, so, because they take half damage while they're flying. I forgot I had more energy. So, if I hit him with this, now he's not flying. So now he will die when I immolate. That's damage to all enemies. Uh, I, I'm not going to be able to defly one of the other ones, so we might as well just do that now. And then... Doesn't matter which one. Strike. And... Oh... Okay, one, um, one each card in your hand. Is it counting itself? Let's find out. Oh, no, I can't. Okay. I'm either going to take one, lose one health, or two. Let's find out if it counts itself. It does. Okay. So in the future, we'll just always remove that card. Because there's no reason not to. All right. Um, wow. Not a lot in the attack department here. But we can kill him with the clash. So... They evolve. We will true grit this sucker. Like that. And kill you. And you can buff yourself, but I'm pretty sure we're going to blow you up. Yeah. Super dead. Ten nib. Okay, that's fine. Explosive potion. Did take some damage there, though. Okay. Receive a relic, 50% chance to become cursed. Uh, that's a no-brainer, since we have all the curse synergies. This will eat the next two curses. That's so confusing and random in this situation, but okay, whatever. Still plus three strength. So we're going here, we're going up this way to avoid the elites, but to get all the way over to the right so we can get that shot. Okay. An artifact. Exhaust itself. Well, that artifact lasts the whole fight. There's no reason not to do that. I got regret, so I can immolate him. And strike. And blur defends, and we'll keep that defense for next turn. <sighs> well, we got enough energy to play everything again, so we'll evolve. Every time we draw one of those wounds, it's going to draw two additional cards. So it'll clog up our hand, but otherwise good. And this, at the end of your turn, lose one hit point for each card in your hand. It counts itself, so I might as well just exhaust it, whatever. Okay. Now all our armor's gone, so it would be nice to kill him this turn. It'd be nice to kill him this turn without the offering, because that's costing us health. So let's see... If we poison stab, you know, getting the clash to go off would be really hard, but we don't have enough attacks. No, we're definitely going to offering. Not enough attacks in our hand. Should have done that first, I guess. But now we've got him. Should 
your hit points at or below 50% at the end of combat. Heal 12 hit, hit points. I don't... I'm hoping that's not going to come up that much. Okay. Again, we're avoiding the elite. So we're going to go this way because we're getting relics from every fight. Because it's a weird daily. Every time you play five cards in a single turn, deal ten damage to all enemies. Uh, I don't know how often that's going to happen, but we'll give it a shot. I don't didn't get anything good to immolate. Immolate does unless you've got a status or a curse. That's kind of annoying. So we're going to play Combust, which is going to hurt us. Now, this fight's probably going to take a while, so let's drink the... Uh, the slow healing potion there. Then we're going to... Okay, so the hourglass is going to kill him, but we're going to... Uh, I guess we have the anchor anyway. Oh, sorry, the combust killed him. We're getting him both ways, front and the back, with the combust and the hourglass. So now I get the evolve. Yeah. Defend, and we're just going to have to lose health for these. Oh, do those count for Panache? That's pretty good. Okay. That counts as playing a card for Panache purposes. Neat. Um, probably True Grit out a wound. I realize the wounds do make us draw the cards more, but it's not super what we want. I, I'm going to try and do this without the offering. I think we can just kill his ass. Even though we're not doing much this turn. Because the, offer, the offering is a guaranteed loss of health, whereas we can blur, super defend, we'll have a bunch of health left over for next turn. We do lose one hit point per turn from not finishing him, but... Alright, let's see how we are. Uh, 9 times 4 is 36, so he's dead. Here, more hit points. Yeah, surprising amount of hit points. If we, when we rest, it's going to do a huge amount. Okay, uh, I could set for the elite, but I don't see a reason to. Random shop. Okay, we don't have that much money, but shops are still like the critical thing here. So we could buy a blood vial, which would give us two hit points every battle. I don't think that's worth it under circumstances. We need cards, cards that make us win. Why am the Ironclad and not the Silent? Why did I think I was the Silent? So two cards from another class, and... Uh, I, I just got confused somewhere. It didn't matter. I was obviously... In effect, how I was playing. So, we have a ton of strength from this. That's a lot of strength. And we could... if we When we go to campsites, we could be getting strength instead of resting, too. So... We're going to want the Sword Boomerang for sure. I think we're going to want Sword Boomerang and Heavy Blade. I think that's kind of a no-brainer. As nice as this is, it's fine. This, we could really use that too for the healing. Because we do not get the constant healing we're used to. This is going to be cheaper than this. And it's almost... like There are advantages to taking this, and it doesn't take a, it's not, it doesn't take a card. It's just automatic. But I think this is probably a better way to go. Also, this will be upgraded to 6, because our skills are automatically upgraded. That's a good point. Flex would be upgraded automatically to 4. Would be 11. We're not, we're not doing that, because these things are way more important. So we're going to buy the Heavy Blade the Sword Boomerang first. And with 127, we can buy the Bandage and the Flex. And then we won't get any advantage from future shops. Uh, we can still head in that direction, but we might not be able to do anything with them. Might actually want to skip this shop and go here, up there. It's the same number of campsites as if we went this way. More fights. I mean, the shop is safe, but if we're not going to have any money for it. And if they're going to another shop here... Ah, oh, that's messed up. But, okay. Uh, I think I think we have to buy the bandage and and the flex. We don't have a lot of like card draw. We don't have that much energy. Okay, is the flex going to be as worthwhile? We now have two of our twenty-two cards strongly benefit from strength, though. We have a lot of card draw with the evolve, actually. Okay, let's let's take the cheap flex, the cheap upgraded flex, since our skills are automatically upgraded. Yeah. Well, that shop did a lot for us. We could use that in some of the previous ones. Now we get to go here and upgrade something. We could get plus one strength or upgrade a card. 
So that's tough, because we now have these attacks, which we'd really like to upgrade. But plus one strength is plus one strength. It's harder to get than upgrade than an upgrade. So like you're more likely to get an upgrade from a random event than plus one strength. We only do this up to three times. We can upgrade those cards later. I think we're gonna lift. Wah. I mean, I guess the strength isn't as hard to get when you remember we're gonna get curses from these, but we have mega strength. That's a good point. I gotta. I should actually upgrade those strength-based cards. Let's see what we get here. Purple Fire Spirits, Dust Bones and Fragments of the Fire. Receive a reward based on the offer. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I think if I give them a curse, I'm not going to get anything good out of it. And the curses are kind of helpful. Like, they're not really a problem. So I'm not worried about the curses. Do I want to keep the Evolve? It's weird with the card draw. Yeah. <sighs> Our deck's pretty tight. I don't think you get anything if you give it a basic card, but it would let me get rid of a basic card. Do I want to get rid of a defend when I have the extra block and I have blur? Like, I have the extra dexterity and I can get more dexterity from the other thing. Do I try and give it a curse? I, I'm assuming it's going to be a jerk if I give it a curse. It's going to do something bad. And the curses are giving me plus one strength, which I now have a use for, so... If anything, it would be the Evolve, but with upgrade, with the upgrade, the Evolve is drawing me more cards. The only thing that it messes up is Clash, which is not that terrible a deal. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. I just gained more attack. Maybe I should just get rid of the strike of one of these strikes. The Immolate's not fantastic, but it goes with the Evolve. Like, it is a lot of damage. If I can get it with one of the Curses, then that'll be easier when I get rid of one of these cards. Yeah, I don't think I get any kind of reward for it, but I think I'm just going to get rid of a Strike or Defend. Man, I do like getting rid of Defends. I have this for Block, and I have the Blur. That's not the Blur, but I have the Blur. I don't have that many Defenses in there. Better. Ah. I get rid of a strike, but it's gonna—they're gonna give me nothing. It just got rid of a strike, which is what I expected. So, I've got ten gold. I'm not gonna go for that shop. I'm gonna go this way, and intentionally take an extra fight instead of that, because I'm gonna get a relic, whereas the shop's probably gonna give me nothing. Actually, if I go here, I can still choose. We're gonna go there though. I even though lifting is good, I am going to upgrade. The, uh, the Heavy Blade, because this will be a kill card. Upgrade, getting another hit out of this is another multiplier on my strength, but the Heavy Blade is going to be stronger. Heavy Blade is the boss killing tech. We're going to go here. Bottle Tornado, choose a power card in the start of combat. Do I have any power cards? I have the Evolve. I would always start with the Evolve. I mean, I guess if I'm going to have Evolve in my deck, I might as well. I don't know if that's actually like a power move, but eh, why not? Or the Combust. Let, let's just start with the Evolve, and then we know what we're we know we're evolving all the time. And I get a card. Just get that artifact that chests also give me cards. Okay. Exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand. That's expensive and not great. Damage equal to your current block. And it only costs one. And flex. No, the body slam is a no-brainer. Even though this, if the flex would be upgraded, body slam is very good. I've got some decent defense in here. I didn't get rid of the defend. We fight this, and then we have to make our choice. But so far, I've still only got 10 gold, so probably not doing that. So this would do 34 damage. That would kill him right now. That's that's how serious a deal that is. Shuffle your discard pile into your draw pile. Draw one card. Eh. I mean, I guess I might as well play it because I'm gonna have to play it at some point in my turn to try and get the cl clear up for the crash clash offering. That's another skill which is preventing me from playing clash. I could just heavy blade this and bash that guy. That means I'm not playing the evolve that I put in my starting hand all the time. I don't really need to bash him. Okay. 
seems pretty good. Oh, yeah, there, if I bash him, he'd have 25, 45 hit points, and he, this would do 50% more, which is another 17, which is 41, 51. So I could one-shot him. Okay, forget, Evolve's going to be good normally, but let's, like, take it. Oh, he doesn't get vulnerable, that's right, because I'm an idiot. Okay. Ah, whatever. Because we'd be getting... Getting him down very low, he'd be very killable, but he is going to gain armor, unless we just try and actually do it this turn. Okay, whatever, we, we, we screwed up, let's just do this, draw all the cards. And... Right of enemy three times, because that gives us more energy too. And we play more attacks, which will give us kunai decks. Okay, now he's killable. Also, pen nib. Really, pen nib on that? Oh, I should have hit. Whatever. I should have hit him first, and then the random damage would have not gone to waste. But that's kind of ridiculous. But okay, whatever. And then, I mean, we got to get rid of the regret. I think I'm just gonna get rid of that with true grit. Forget about the clash. With that guy dead, I'm so not worried about this fight anymore. The offering was hopefully all the hit points I was gonna lose. Oh, look. Boom. War paint. Upon up upgrade two random skills. That's probably going to be defense, because I got the egg basically right away, and every skill I've gained since then has been upgraded. Yeah, so two upgraded defense. Could be worse. I mean, like, if every skill in my deck is upgraded except for one defend, like, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll deal... Uh, that'll be my cross to bear. Still 25 gold. There's almost no chance we can get a card, and if we can, there's almost no chance it's a good one, because it's random. So we'll just go and get it. Fight. Maybe take some damage, but get another thing instead. Um, that's kind of annoying. I've got nothing in my hand to immolate. It's not a good turn to uh, body slam. Let's, let's get the evolve going on. And poison this sucker. Most of our deck is cheap, so it is going to be a little ugly. We're going to just draw three cards. This this was a terrible starting hand. It just was. Oh, the Body Slam still deals 14 damage because I have so much strength. Bonus. Excuse me. It does count for Pen Nib, so yay. But yeah, we're going to keep those. Now all our costs are randomized. It's going to be terrible unless we get a cheap Heavy Blade. Hey, look, cheap Heavy Blade. Um, not going to be able to play that Clash, but this may go poorly for him. Uh, no, he's going to live. Yeah, that sucks. Now I get the pen nib, but I'm going to get decent, decent defense there. I'm not going to take too much, but still pretty unfortunate. Oh, I got my bandage. That's important. I forgot. I got to play long. I got to make the fights last long enough that I get the bandage. Wait. Did I not get any attacks? What the crap? Combust won't kill him either. That's so stupid. Okay, um, how much? We just need 15 defense. There's 11. I'm going to lose one hit point from this, but I just, just going to do it. I'm not going to do that, because I, next turn I'm going to draw some attacks and kill him. Or he'll die on his own. Oh my god, barely. What the hell? Whenever you exhaust a card, deal three damage to all enemies. This is what happens when you have you, when you have just like a ridiculous number of artifacts, relics for no reason. Alright, question mark. I mean there's a shop over there. Question mark there and see if we have enough money to make it worth going to the shop. At, at that point, probably. So question mark is a fight, that's too bad. Um weaken him, sure. Evolve, sure. Uh, Sword Boomerang, not as good against him, I don't think. Because he'll get a bunch of armor. But uh, that's fine. But he takes it all... He's, he's weird, because he takes it all first, and then his malleability kicks in. But whatever. We'll blur, defend, and we lose a hit point. Oh, you got to panache him. That's good. Our armor's sticking around from last turn. Bandage up. Heavy Blade. 
Where's our pin nib? Our pin nib is nowhere near it, so that's fine. Uh, body slam, we could easily just kill him now. Which I guess if we have the, is now that we got the bandage, we're fine. So go ahead and kill him. Okay, easily kill him may have been an exaggeration. Boo. Thread and needle, more defense. That's excellent. Poison potion. We gotta use potion potions again. We here, fifty-five gold. I suppose you guys have a lot of money. Too vulnerable. So have to think about where to put that. I mean, probably on him, but we want to evolve. Take some damage first turn, but we do have the anchor, so we're hopefully not taking too much damage first turn. Bandage up. There's no reason to wait. If we're not at full health. <sighs> Yeah, like, I can vulnerableize him and then hit him for 15, which will knock off one of his charges, not do all that much damage. I can kill this guy faster, I guess. Can I kill him this turn with this stuff? Maybe. Uh, yes, I can, because I can body slam for nothing and still does damage. Okay. Maybe I should have potion. But whatever. Because we'll probably get a new one. That's no good. I'm going to have to take more damage because I don't have... I'm not doing it. Well, I don't act, have to. I could ignore that. I'm going to lose one from this. I'm not under pressure. I can defend against him pretty much all day long. So, okay. Yeah, let's just do that. Bust. A lot of hit point losing things. Not enough hit point gaining things. But the bandage makes a huge difference. So we definitely want to bash him, get that going. But do I bother playing the combust? I think I don't. I think we're just gonna. Actually, if I blur, that's gonna be enough. I don't need to defend. So yeah, you know what? Let's uh, let's com combust him. I guess. Might speed this up a little bit. Get to keep some of that defense. Okay, there's a bigger turn. We can now uh, like flex. Yeah, okay, we we got him now. I don't I don't know how our deck can be so like unreliable when it's so small already. Cause some of that stuff we got in it early on with Gresham. More strength, because that's what we needed. Alright. With seventy money, do I go to the shop and sort of scrounge around and see if I can find something good? Or do I just take my question mark? This is this is only the second act. Let's save that money and see if we can go to shop with a decent amount of money. Or yeah, we can't buy much here. Rage, which would be upgraded, so it would be uh, six block for every attack I play that turn. Corruption would make my skills exhaust themselves. That's not necessarily the The war cry would be upgraded, so that would be draw two cards and then place one on the top of the draw pile, exhaust yourself. And I do three damage whenever I exhaust something, so since I'm here and I can't afford anything else much, I think I will take the war cry. That that should be an improvement to my deck, not an unimprovement. Not necessarily what I would have wanted to spend the money on, but so here we have to decide, do we upgrade something, or do we get plus one strength, which is pretty friggin' awesome. We don't need that. We don't need to rest for five health. We're not doing that. Um, upgrading a body slam makes it free, which is pretty fantastic. Like, really good. That I, that makes a big difference because it's a it's a card that we're, we're going to want to play pretty much all the time. Well, all the time because we have enough strength that is doing damage anyway. We're always going to want to play it, and it doesn't exhaust itself. So that's actually just making our deck. More... Oh, my computer is lagged down now for some inexplicable reason. Like seriously, what what possible cause is there for lag? But yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna upgrade. <laughs> Look how few of our cards need upgrading. But the upgrading the body slam, huge difference, I think. And yeah, all right, let's fight fight the laser knight. Black 
computer would stop dying. Okay. How, how can this game even take any processing? I mean, I have a billion things open and I'm recording, but still. So we'll start with five strength. His first turn, he's summoning his dudes. You could transmutation get a bunch of colors, because I don't really care about that right now. I mean, I'm not going to... Well, I'm losing one hit point by bandaging up now, because it does six. But we're going to full heal at the end of the fight, and by getting rid of this, I won't draw it again. So that's actually worthwhile. Oh my god. Computer, seriously. Well, I guess I'll stop the recording and stuff. And probably reboot. I do not understand what some kind of background process must be going on, but I don't know what that would be. So we're going to evolve, because that'll draw us a lot of cards over the course of the fight. We're going to store Boomerang, because that's going to beat his face in. And then uh, Combust is going to do one damage to us every turn, but it's going to do four damage to him. Should be worthwhile, and we'll get, we'll get a random card from this. Wow, that, that might make a difference later, but not right now. We're also, this would just get rid of his artifact charges. We don't have any energy left. No, I guess there's no reason to do those things right now. We could poison them, unless they have cards to get back. Uh, I've got nothing to immolate with. That sucks. Um, bashing him. I'm going to take some damage here. But it's not like I can kill this guy. I could draw three cards. Out of my deck, there are quite a few cards. Five of these 16 cards could be used for the Immolate. So you know what? I'm going to do the card, the draw three cards motion. Because my turn was going to suck otherwise. Wow, I didn't get any of the curses. Okay, try again. This also does three damage to everything. There we go. Choose the top card to put back on top. I'm going to put one of those back on top. I don't need them both. Although, actually, I could true grit one of them. But we're going to immolate. Maybe we should have put the clash back on top. Also, probably should have bashed first. Damn it. So, if I true grit, then Body Slam will do more damage, but I'll also be able to clash. I don't have enough energy for everything anyway. Um, true, bash and true grit will take all my energy, so I could true grit away a strike, I guess. I don't think vulnerable applies to like the relic damage. I think it's just from attacks. Yeah. But I still should have done it first. Um, because it would have done more with the Immolate. They haven't gotten... They'll give me card, more cards if I kill them afterwards. On the other hand, if I kill this guy now, then I won't be taking that damage. So. Yeah, let's, let's get rid of another of his stacks. We'll let this guy take a card. He's not going to take a card anyway, so let's just kill him. Kind of reduce the damage incoming somewhat. Oh, I didn't have to waste one to finish him, I think, because the combust would have got him. Not the combust. I have so many damage things. Okay, so he's bu buffing and armoring. That guy has get, now got uh, my offering. Noted. Let's uh, flex, because why not? Poison Stab will kill him, but not right now. So it wouldn't give me back the offering, which is too bad. Uh, I guess we'll do that anyway. Oh, I did get the offering back. And that means I get to heavy blade his ass. And uh, he's not vulnerable, but eh, we'll, we'll flex some more. We're like atomic heavy bladeage. And even, even if I use the potion... I can't actually get to the point where I can bash him, right? Or if I poison... No, I'd, I'd have to poison stab and poison potion, and then I'd be able to bash him, but then I wouldn't be able to heavy blade him this turn, so it doesn't really matter. I guess we'll do that, which is pretty good. And we'll... These are going to stay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to get rid of the regret. So now... And the blue candle is, like, comboing well with the ashes. Do, do I poison, poison stab him to get rid of another artifact? Or just do I do it to defend? Because that's going to stick around next... I guess I'm poison, whatever. More damage. 
Oh, and now my pen nib's charged. Okay. So he's going to do some damage, but... Uh, oh my god, I got nothing for the emulate again! This will do quite a lot of damage, though. I guess we'll uh, true right away the immolate. It's a fine card, but there's not much fight left anyway. Well, even if our health was carrying on, we'd actually be fine. Die. And I could have body armored him. Body slammed him for a bunch. Next two chests we open contain double relics. Excludes boss chests. We get a card. We could get another barricade, which we also don't need. We could lose more hit points to draw more cards. That's interesting, but we're going to take the bludgeon. Whatever. It's very expensive, but it's also very powerful. And it's not like we're running combos of that kind. Okay, tiny house. It's a potion. 30 gold. That's all like weak sauce. Max hit point by 5. We've got tons of max hit points. Obtain one card. Much more interesting than usual. And upgrade one random card. A lot of our stuff is upgraded already. Now this is choose and add five cards to your deck. Or at least now drop two relics from defeat. I assume that stacks with the Matryoshka. Oh, I'm not going to be fighting elites. Yeah, th this is chests. This is elites. I'm avoiding elites. I guess I would be at two relics for them instead of normal fight. But I've got a million relics. I don't need that. Tiny house is temp. So it's w one card... And upgrade one card, and some minor junk, although the gold could be relevant. Or just choose and add five cards. That's not upgrading. Although if they're skills, they get upgraded automatically. It's upgrading one card at random, so it'll probably get a strike, because I don't have that many upgrade-eligible cards. I just don't. Combust turns into five damage, eh? It's not that exciting. Man, I guess, thing is, my deck, I don't necessarily want to make, I'm not desperate for cards anymore. Now that I've got the strength damage dealers, I'm back to kind of wanting to shrink my deck, if anything. I think I'm going to take this, the tiny house, because I don't want to add that many cards to my deck, even though there's probably a bunch of choice. You upgraded a regular strike. Good job, you idiot. And add a card. Uh, Warcry, although anything I do is going to be a... This is drawing a card and 11 block, because it'll be upgraded. And it's more than 11 block, because it's also it's 12, and then whatever I've got from Kunai. Or I could just do another Warcry, which exhausts itself, deals 3 damage to all enemies. Yeah, okay, let's just take the Warcry. That's not actually making our deck bigger. Because I'm actually at a point now where I do kind of want to remove cards again. Okay, here we are. Alright, Act 3... If you like this, please click the eponymous button and check out Tales from My D&D Campaign on youtube.com slash demonax.